Hey, if you want the sign, man, rises back with more life strength before the storm. Okay, then we have to get Samuel out of there somehow, so we can get so we can get the keys. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Indeed, indeed. But Evan is right there. Indeed, indeed. And the weekend. Evan would follow that bird <sighs> off a cliff, but I'd settle for away from the sprinkler. Wait then. What should we do? Scare it. Scare it. Uh, hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Wait, and now what do we do? What do we do now? Hold on a second. Can we... Well, we smash this. So tempting, but... Evan will see me, for sure. Oh, wait, then let's scare this again. Time for a fresh start. Scare it this way, shall we? Here we go. Yes, indeedy. We got it. We got it. Let's smash it. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Indeed, indeed. Now that smash the freaking thing. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the. Holy <laughs> moly. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, let's go get the damn keys. Let's go get the keys. Well, before we take it though, we gotta put something on there. We gotta leave our mark on there. Oh, wait. This one. This one. <laughs> okay. Now let's get the key and get out of here. Sorry, Samuel. Wait. Let's All go right. in. Time to find Drew's room. Let's go in. No time like the present. Oh, holy moly. Someone come on. Someone come on. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. Oh man, I bet we have to do the back talk challenge. 
eventually. But I'm just gonna try this first. It, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. Oh, I knew it. I knew we had to do this back talk challenge thing eventually. Let's go for it. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Wait, let's go for it, let's go for it. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't... You know, patrol. You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but... When the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh? I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh. <sighs> Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's hurry up indeed. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Or just leave the keys there, man. Now everyone can get in. Without keys. Alright. Which one is Drew's room? Wait. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Well, where's Drew's room then? Where is Drew's room? Oh, it must be this one. Holy moly. Yep. Yeah, uh, definitely Drew's room. Indeed, indeed. What do I do with Drew's here? Let's knock first. Wait, no one's in, so we go in. No one's in, so we go in. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. 
Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Oh, obviously in here, that. Holy moly. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Oh, we don't know that yet, do we? So we're gonna have to look for the code. Resident, Resident Evil style. Oh, who's that? Holy moly. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Oh, is that the code? Maybe. Hold on a second, though. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Holy moly. That's not good. That's not good at all. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Plenty of possible combinations here. I don't like the look of this dude. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. <laughs> awesome. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Didn't think Drew would be into this nerd shit. Or, I guess, this is all Mikey's. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> they look so happy. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Right then, so what, sh what, sh what number shall we use then? Look at that. More numbers. How many digits is it? Let's freaking, let's try anything. Damn it. Wrong numbers. <sighs> Might actually need some help with this one. What's that? Twelve twenty seven. Oh, wait. One, two, two, seven. Uh, worth a shot. Yes. Oh, got it. This is kind of fun. Holy moly. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Holy moly, we got it. We got the money, man. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Right, let's go, 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 let's go, go, go. Oh, holy moly, man, he's back. Oh no, this is uh Hey Mikey. Yeah, that's that Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? 
Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Holy moly, who's that? Oh, that's the um Damon guy, isn't it? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are going to kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want Holy my moody. fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Holy moly. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Holy moly, man. What shall we do? What shall we do? Holy moly. So... Drew kind of needs the money, doesn't he? For his father or something. I think I caught. It's just uh Should we give him the money or what then? I don't know. Stay with Mikey. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you were one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Oh, holy moly, what was that? Like running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. <laughs> Oh, holy moly, man. I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Holy moly, maybe we, we should have given them the money after all. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. What the hell? Thank you. We just made you get, get beaten the crap out of. And you thanking us? Well, what shall we do with the money? Shall we give it, back, give it back to him or keep it? Or... Well, we should give it back to him, shouldn't we? Uh... Here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. 
I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew! You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah. No. No way. What? Um... What are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. Oh, and also he's not all bad then. He just wants to help his father. Wait, what next? What next? Oh, it's time for the play in it. It's play time. Holy moly. This day has been so messed up. I can talk to Rachel now. Indeed. If I can find her back here. Indeed, indeed. Oh, look at these. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Indeed, indeed. Hold on a second. What's this? SG. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Presents Firewalk Laser Light Spectacular. Holy moly. Wait, where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? What's going on here? Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. What's going on here then? Oh, what the hell? Is that Nathan? Nathan Prescott, isn't it? What's going on here then? That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. Nathan's dad looks like he's really laying into him. Well, Nathan's dad? I wonder what it's about. He didn't even appear in the, uh... Life is Strange 1, if I rem remember correctly. So, it's 
good to see him. I should find Rachel. Or maybe not. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Oh my god, asshole, asshole. All he cares about is the Prescott name. Nathan. Fuck! Holy moly. Shall we go talk to him, shall we? Boys changing tent. Oh, we can't go thanks, in. Thanks, but no thanks. We can't go in. Why is she so concerned? Is she like Nathan's girlfriend or what? Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and his dad. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole. Indeed, huh? indeed. No, I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Are you kidding? Who cares if he's an asshole? Nathan's dad is a bajillionaire I take that over poor and nice any day money isn't everything Chloe yeah that's what people with money keep telling me but it's true if you look past his money I think you'd see that you and Nathan are actually a lot alike uh what the hell does that mean I'm serious you're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive you've been through a lot and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Hmm, what shall I pick? What shall I pick? What shall we pick? Give him help. When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But trust me, he was glad we did. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Thanks for your help, Chloe. Here's hoping. Yeah, Nathan isn't completely bad, is he? He was just manipulated by that idiot. Um, what's his name again? Mr. Jefferson, isn't it? Faggot Jefferson. Oh, wait, where's Rachel? Where's Rachel, man? Oh, this Hogan again. Look at that. Hulk Hogan. Come to one wild. On Arcadia Bay. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing. That she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. I mean, look at that. It's such a, like, Hulk Hogan, isn't it? Man. Hulk Hogan ripoff. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on Arcadia Bay, brother?
Wait, oh, wait. Hold on a second, what's around here? No way in oh. hell I'm going up on that stage. Oh, wait. Let's go in. Let's go in. Rachel? What the hell? Victoria Chase. Bitch. She's not all bad either, but she's still a bitch. What the hell was all that about? Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria's. Slipped into that drink. Right then, what does she step into that drink? Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. Pills? Holy moly, man. Muscle relaxers? Hurry now before your tea gets. <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? <sighs> God, you're pathetic. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's. Relaxed before the show. Uh, whatever. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks? Holy moly, man. Hold up. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It, it sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. What's going on? Bitch, dosed your tea. That is the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Switch the cups. Obviously, isn't it? Problem solved. Damn, Chloe Price. What would I do without you? Have super relaxed muscles, I guess. Uh, Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call on my aesthetic sensibility soon. In the meantime, let us drink. Oh, make sure you drink it all. Your instrument will thank you. I am so grateful to have such a kind and caring friend as you, Victoria. Aw, samesies. Samesies, too. Anyway, I'll see you out there. Break a leg. So, 
That happened. <laughs> Just when I thought this day couldn't get any batshit crazier. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Sweet pardon, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Mr. Cretan, I have revelations to reveal. Rachel Amber is on drugs. Look at her. Her face is so blurry and pretty. Uh, she's clearly been drugged. I mean, drugged herself. She loves drugs. Don't you? <gasps> Holy moly. Touche fates. Touche. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Right guys, that will do it for this part. If you enjoyed the video, please look, share and comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and help me rise.